Hi everybody, this is Tina with Loving Life's Little Blessings and look what I have, Paper Pumpkin. I'm so excited to um, be able to start doing these videos again. I know about a year or so ago I was doing Paper Pumpkin videos and then I just didn't have a lot of interest in it so I just focused on some other things. Um, but Stampin' Up! recently ran a promotion last month with Paper Pumpkin that if you signed up to get the Paper Pumpkin kit, you got a set of markers with it. And then I also offered some free goodies if you joined. I was specifically trying to meet a goal, and I did. Thank you guys so much, everybody who joined. I'm so, so grateful. I... Um, needed seven people to join and I had 13 of you that joined so thank you so so much so I'm very excited so I sent out packages to you guys yesterday everybody who joined during the promotion I sent out packages for you guys you'll need to look for those in your mail and then after the 10th around the 10th of March I will send out another package of goodies to you guys so I'm sending them out to everybody um, on my paper pumpkin list um, I had one gal that was already doing Paper Pumpkin and I'm sending her out the goodies as well because I'm just very grateful for you guys. So I thought I would open up the Paper Pumpkin. I already opened it up a little tiny bit. So I thought I would open up my box with you guys. I'm going to show you guys everything that's in it, do a little introduction in case you're brand new to Stampin' Up! or you're brand new to the Paper Pumpkin kit. And then we'll put some cards together Um I'll put some cards together for you guys and then every single month I'm not sure about the exact date you can go over to my blog by just clicking right on my on the top of this video it'll take you right to my website and then you can see the date that I'm gonna have the video every month and there'll be its uh, own little site um, page that you can look at and see all the details so it comes just like this it's the cutest little box ever when you open it up, you're going to see some things. You're going to see this little card. It's a little welcome card. It just tells you what it is. Um, all of this stuff will probably be underneath this part. So this is just, just tissue paper. And you open it up, and then you'll see these items. So I'm going to take all the items out of the tissue paper. And so I can show you exactly what it is. So these are the free markers you got from Stampin' Up. These are the in colors from last year. Um, and here I love these writer markers. I use them for everything. I actually use them in my planner. And I love that they have a um, tip that you can that you use to write with, and then a brush tip. And you can use that right on your stamp. So here is Midnight Muse. And there is a fine point tip. And you can just write with that normal. And then the other end is a brush tip. And you can use this on your um, stamps. And so we will look at how to do that. So you have that. And then you get the stamp. And I already have this stamp uh, because I had previously gotten a welcome kit. And so I'm actually going to, I think I'll do a giveaway with this um, stamp set in a little while. So you get the stamp set and I'll just use mine that I have. And then you get a Stampin' Spot and I'm not gonna open this. I have Stampin' Spots. Um, with the Stampin' Up! kits, uh, you get Stampin' Spots, and I'll show you. I just have one of our clear bo boxes, our wood mount cases, and I have several different um, little spots here, and I actually already have a gray one, so I'm not going to open this, and I'll just do a giveaway of that stuff later. So I will use this, these spots. So, so then, this is how your kit comes, and you get a block which is amazing to get the the marker and the block is a fantastic um, deal so this is the block and you're just gonna pop this out you're gonna want to take off the there's a film so you're gonna want to take that off and it's a nice block I really love our blocks that um, have the grooves in all sides so it's really easy to hold and you're just not going to want to touch the surface of your block because you don't want the oils in your hands to get on that it will make it hard for your um, 
stamp to stick. So then inside of the two cardboard pieces, that's going to be where all your pieces are for your cards. So we're going to sit down and we're going to make these cards and I'm going to clear off my workspace and then I'll come back and we will make some cards. Okay, I'm back with my cards and you can just see I folded these down. It just comes like this and it's already scored for you. So you just fold it in half and then I just use a bone folder and I just give that a good crease. Just, you know, uh, you don't have to. It's just, I like to make sure they're nice and, and tightly um, folded. So what you do is you're just gonna take your stamp and spot that you get. We'll use the gray one that comes with it. And I keep a wood mount box and then I also keep a clear mount bo box. And these just have all my paper pumpkin stamps. You can see these are the two stamps that we're going to use. So I just keep all of my paper pumpkin stamps right in this. And if you would be interested in getting um, one each of these boxes, you can just email me and I will let you know how to get those. So here's our card and then it also comes with this little instruction. Um, pamphlet thing. You can just look at the photo. It's really easy to follow along. So what you're going to do is grab your card. The only thing the paper pumpkin kit does not come with is adhesive. So if you wanted to get an adhesive um, and have the and keep it in your box with your stamp and spots, that would work as well. So you'll get a stamp and spot every time a new one in. Um, each of your paper pumpkin kits. So you start to get quite a collection of them and you can re-ink them with our re-inkers. So what I do is I just take my scissors or craft knife and I cut this part and then I flip it over to the side and I cut this part but I leave this sticker on the back alone. That way when I open this up it's still attached and I don't lose my lid. So you'll want to do that, open up your ink, and then you'll want to take your clear block. Now your stamp is going to come in this rubber piece, so you're going to punch out, it just punches right out your stamp, and then you're going to have this sticker part. And I'll just do this with you guys, I can still give this away. But what you do is you just pop the sticker portion off and then what I like to do, let me grab my snips, they are. I just like to trim right around this part and I just find that it helps my stamp to stick to my clear block easier if I just trim right around the image and it will allow some of that clear um, cling foam. It will allow some of that to show and that is what will cling to the block and that um, really clings to the block really well. So you can see I've just trimmed right around that and then you'll just peel it off and stick it right, the back part peels off just like a sticker and you'll just stick that right down onto your stamp. So this is one of my favorite stamps, the Hey There Friend, and then these little ink blots. I love this and I use this for so many things. So you're just gonna take your block and you're going to push right down on that and it'll stick right to your block and I'm just gonna double mount this so I'm just gonna put it put them both on my block so then you have this sheet of their stickers they're the really thick um, stickers so they're a little bit thinner than chipboard but a lot thicker than just normal stickers so the photo just says to put this right here and this one right here and I did mine upside down um, the photo shows the polka dots at the top and I did them at the bottom but that's okay you can be creative with this and then it shows one of these right like this and then for these little blue buttons again it does not come with adhesive so what I find to work really well with buttons are these little mini glue dots and they just seem to work really well with buttons they hold buttons down really well 
just like that. And then let's take our ink spot and ink up our stamp. You're just going to, I press down on mine like this. Oops. Oh no, that's not coming off. And then I'm going to put mine up top instead of down below like the photo shows. We'll do the next one. We'll do it exactly how the photo says. And then I just have the ink blots and I'm going to do the same thing. Just like that. So let's do the other one exactly how the photo shows. So you'll just grab this piece and then this piece, of, the photo says to do the dots up top. And then I just put that right in the middle. One of these go right here on the top. And then one of these I just use my grid mat to get these items straight if you're worried about it. And then a button. So we can do all of that. And then we can stamp. I still didn't leave myself room. I'm still going to have to do it up top. And then I actually am going to add another one of these ink blots just down here because I think it makes it, it rounds it out a little bit better. So those are the two cards that I made. That's how you'll put together your kit. You could add twine. If you had twine laying around, you could add um, twine to your buttons. Um, I have a kit that I got that came with twine and I had some left over. I could have used that. Or you could just leave it how it is. It's whatever you want to do with it, however you want to do it. You could make the cards like this um, and do it that way. Um, I'll take a photo. I'll put together these other two cards and then I'll put, uh, I'll take a photo and show you um, how they came out. Okay. So thank you guys so much for coming by. Thank you to those who subscribed. You can still sign up for Paper Pumpkin and get the free markers. That offer has been extended to the end of uh, March. So till March 31st. So thank you guys so much for coming by and I will talk to you later. To share with you, I didn't show you how to use your marker right on your stamp. So if you have a stamp, um, I don't, I can't, these I don't want to show you on this because they have great ink on them. So I'm going to grab another stamp. So if you have this stamp and you want to use your marker... On your stamp what you do is you just take your brush tip and you just color right on that stamp I use the like of the flat part of the brush I just lay that brush tip right on that stamp and move it all around you don't have to worry about going fast or hurrying and stamp stamping it because I'm going to show you how to re-moisten that ink when it's on there you just want to make sure you get a good coverage so then what you're going to do is you're just going to take and breathe right on that um, stamp and what that does is it re-moistens the ink so what I'm going to do is flip this piece of paper over and then we can stamp just like that and then you have another ink color that you can use so that's how you can use those markers the brush tip of those markers so again thanks guys for coming by and I will talk to you later